In response to the treaty issue, the treaty is a good idea provided it can be done in the right way. First of all, you don't do a treaty with somebody's agent. You wouldn't do a treaty with the state government. There are, in this, in this system, there are only an agent of the federal government, which is an agent of the Crown. You either do a treaty with the Crown that has enforceable provisions, or you don't do a treaty. That's first. Secondly, you don't just do a treaty with them because they're completely untrustworthy and they've had hundreds of years of unequal treaties. I went to a temple in Nanjing where, the, where, they, where they're storing the treaty that they did with the Qing Emperor for the session of Hong Kong. They even charged the Emperor for their cost of war for that. And, and nobody wants anything to do with giving the English anything in that country. And they regard them as, quote, this is what they say in Chinese, they're bad people. That's what they say, bad people. Yeah. So the first thing you'd have to do is you'd have to do a treaty of friendship before you had a, a treaty with any substantive provisions in it. And a treaty of friendship would have to have enforceable terms, such as, for example, third countries with uh, the right to send in peacekeepers and third countries to enforce it in other legal ways uh, so that the friendship could be guaranteed. Because if you do a treaty of friendship with Britain, that's like doing a treaty of friendship with your worst enemy with no enforceable provisions. It's so stupid you wouldn't even do it. You wouldn't even think to do it. So yes, treaties would work if you could get all that to work. If you could get the treaty of friendship up, with the right to send in peacekeepers. And frankly, as I've said to Michael before, there should be a half a million UN peacekeepers in this country now because of what's going on. The only way to actually put that to a stop, a dead stop, is with peacekeepers. About a half a million, I calculate. And there needs to be military advice. And you couldn't do a treaty unless you'd had thorough military advice because ultimately as I said before the law I'll come right back to you the law is only a statement of their ideology which is thinking with a false mind and so why would you bother with it what you really need to do is work out your territorial divisions and how you can secure your territory and protect the people and make sure the children are safe. And until that can be done, it's all a waste of time. And I can tell you now, if you do a treaty with them, the children will still not be safe. Because those people out there that are jailing the children have the same mindset. And it can't be changed at all. It's another Moses situation. It's 40 years in the desert and maybe the grandchildren will fix it. <laughs>